This is Bombay. This is Bombay. <laughs> Hello, Widget. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this. I thought there'd only be three or four of you. So, oh, uh, wow, you guys are on the front row, can you see? No, yes, no, oh, this guy's legs are in the way. <laughs> uh, hi. You seem generally surprised, why? You're, you're well, famous, Jim, what are you doing? You're famous, come on. Love from Bombay. If I'm so famous, why aren't I rich? You came from where? Bhopal is quite far off. It's Vermont? Oman? Oman? Oman. 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 Oh, Oman. That's a long way. I came even further. All right, so, Jim, I'm just the voice of the people. Uh, these are questions that I, I have that have come from the people. We have okay. to them. Okay. So, uh, I hope there are no questionable questions. But it's going to be interesting. They're all questionable okay, questions. Okay, so, all questionable questions. <laughs> Okay, what is your favorite Bobby coat or saying? Well, I already said one of them. Um, let me see. Let me think. Oh, balls. No, the, the, the best thing Bobby ever said is family don't end with blood. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Wow. wow, look at all of you. Oh yes, people love you, Jim. Come on, look at that. They're all here for you. They're all here for, for you. Okay. Now, this is another question. Oh, do you, you see someone? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just waving. Oh. Okay, so there's another question here from the fans. Do you have any stories or moments from your appearances at the Supernatural Convention or during filming that you wouldn't mind sharing with us? <laughs> uh, let me think. Do I have any moments from other Supernatural Conventions that I wouldn't mind sharing? Or from the show. Or from, or from, the, from show. the show, okay. Um, it, hmm, that's, um... There are a lot of moments that I probably shouldn't share uh, because you look like a nice, genteel audience. Um, you're not nice. Um, I um, well, probably my favorite moment from the show was when when Bobby ran upstairs and gave Sheriff Mills a big kiss. I made them rehearse that over and over and over. And then, and then Kim Rhodes made them rehearse it over and over and over. Uh, that was a pretty good moment. I, I don't get a lot of that at conventions. <laughs> Well, here's something that may have happened over and over and over again. The question is, when Bobby was drinking whiskey, which was quite a lot of time, what was actually in the glass? Um, well, because when we shoot a scene, even though the scene may only take one or two minutes on screen when you see it, it takes hours and hours to shoot it. And we can't really afford to be drinking real whiskey because everyone would fall down and go to sleep. Uh, so usually what they give us is 
either tea or coke with or water with food coloring in it. It's not very good, but it keeps us from passing out in the middle of the work day. So, so tea. What would you prefer, tea or coke? What's your thing? Well, even I, I think I think Coca Cola is a little bit better than tea, but I like a lot of sugar in my life. So. Wait till you have Indian tea. It has a lot of sugar. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, it's I'll have to put Indian tea. Uh, yes. Better in the in the glass. Okay. All right. So, do you prefer working in TV or films, and uh, how your experiences have been with both? Well, the big difference between film and theater and TV. Or, well, there's, there's really two big differences. One is the amount of time you spend on uh, a scene. Uh, in film, uh, for example, I, I did a, a, a movie a year or so ago called Friends of Tea. And, uh, oh, you're the ones who saw it. Um, and, the first scene I shot in that movie took us three days to shoot. Uh, if that scene had been in an episode of Supernatural, we would have shot it one morning uh, and shot something else in the afternoon because we only had eight, eight working days to shoot an episode. Uh, a movie, we can take several months to shoot just two hours worth of film. So. Uh, that's a difference. Of course, when you're working on stage, you rehearse for several weeks and then you perform for weeks or months or even years sometimes. So that's part of it. The other part is that um, uh, film and television, you don't have to do as much. You don't have to be as bold or as broad as you have to be on stage. On stage, you know, some people are sitting way at the back, and, and if you gesture, you have to gesture largely so they can see you, and you have to speak loudly and clearly so they can hear you. In film, you can be very, very, very small. Um, uh, sometimes you don't have to do anything except think, and the camera will pick it up. So. Those are the big differences. I don't prefer any of them. I like all the, all, all kinds of acting, um, um, as long as you know, as long as it's a good part and a good project. I'm very happy with any of them. Uh, theater doesn't pay very much, so I don't do as much of it as I would like to, because my daughter likes to eat, and I have to feed her. So. Can you people hear me? Yes! What? Yes! Yeah, they're there. Yeah, they're there. Okay, interesting. Have you had any actual, real-life, supernatural experiences? Not until I got here. Tell us about it. What is it? This is also you guys. Um, not to my knowledge, I don't recall ever having a supernatural experience that wasn't part of shooting supernatural. Um, no, I, I don't, um, it's, I know it's terribly disappointing, but um, I never, I never met a ghost in my life. I, I do know a couple of demons, but... That's just people with bad personalities. Name, Name some. some. <laughs> you guys know who Mark Shepard is? No, I just asked if you knew who he was. I'm not saying he's a demon. He's a very sweet guy. going to his wedding in a couple of weeks. Oh, interesting.
interesting. Have you stayed in touch with Jensen and Jared after your departure from the show? Who? J and J. Oh. Oh, the other guys whose names start with J. Um, I always thought it ought to be the three J's, but... Or the one J. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I, you know, these days I mainly see them at conventions and, and a little bit in passing. Um, the, they both live in Texas and I live in California and they work in uh, Canada. So we don't see each other very often, but uh, anytime we get a chance to bump into each other at a convention, we're always happy to see each other. And uh, and every once in a while, you know, we email each other or something. But uh, usually it's only at conventions or every once in a while when they bring Bobby back. So uh, I'd like to see them a lot more often. Uh, I'd like to see them on the set more often. Is there a possibility though? Could uh, could the writers actually bring back Bobby? Yeah! It's supernatural. Yeah! It's supernatural. They can bring. They can do anything they want to. Yeah! Oh, they could. Uh, uh, yeah, and I keep telling them. That. How would you write him in? How would you? What would you do? Like if you if you were to write him back in? Well. Um, it's funny because just a few weeks ago I sent an email to uh, uh, Andrew Dad, who is now one of the uh, executive producers, showrunner, and the email started, fade in an open field, a beautiful blue sky. The camera tilts up to look at that beautiful blue sky, a dot appears in the sky and becomes, begins hurtling toward Earth. It falls and grows larger and larger and larger until it hits the ground, bam, and makes a huge hole in the ground. The camera moves down. We cannot see what's in the hole. We just see dust rising from it. And then we hear, oh. And then after that, I said to Andrew, can you tell I'm homesick? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that seems like as good a way as any to get Bobby back. Um, I think that uh, they, they love the character, they really do. Uh, but they're also very scrupulously uh, uh, bound to telling good stories with good reasons behind them and they don't want to just arbitrarily bring the character back or to do anything. They want to have a really good story in mind and from what I've talked to the, to the writers, they're always looking for a good Bobby story so I think I'll be back. Is it, uh, it's quite interesting, is it true that uh, your character was supposed to be a cameo? It was not supposed to be a long recurring character? No, like yeah, character. that's, uh, that's yeah. sort of true. There was, uh, in the first season, there was a character uh, uh, named Missouri. And the actress who played her wasn't available for the last episode of season one. She, she had another job already. And so they decided to create a different character for that episode. And they thought, well, let's get a, a rural uh, guy who's kind of gruff and, and he can fulfill the same uh, requirements in the, in the story. And so they created Bobby, but I don't think anybody thought he would ever be back. He was just a substitute for Missouri. Well, Missouri never came back. And on one hand, 
That's too bad because Loretta Devine, who played her, is a wonderful actress. Um, but um, I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Because I've been back 57 times. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> it's, it's interesting how that happened and worked out. Now, um, if sh we, you could actually write him back, if Bobby actually comes back, what, would there be anything different about him? More uh, girlfriends. <laughs> Everything else about him is fine. He just, yeah. he just needs a little more Girlfriends. recreational yeah. activity. They, they have girlfriends in India, right? Yeah! <laughs> you guys know what that is. Okay, interesting. Fan question. If you could describe your character in one word, what would that be? He said, my character. I don't think I'm going to go with Idjit. still feels that way. 
So, uh, uh, yeah, it was a little sad. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm not there while they're partying. Because that's really what it feels like on that show. It's so much, it's hard work, and we all work very, very hard on it, the long hours. But we have so much fun. Uh, and I think the fun we have shows in the program when you see it. I think you can tell that the people who make Supernatural enjoy making Supernatural. Um, and I think that's part of its appeal. So uh, I would love to go back and when they call, not if, when they call, I'll go back. So I would say that that was not your favorite episode. No. Well, it was an interest. It was a great episode to shoot because it was really well written. It was dramatically wonderful. It was a thrill to play. It just made me sad that it was the sign that it was over. It wasn't my favorite episode, but it was one of my two or three favorites. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the next question is, what's your most favorite episode? <laughs> Well, what's your most favorite Bobby episode? Well, my favorite episode is Weekend at Bobby's. Um, mainly because it was all about me. Um, it was so much fun to do. It was... Uh, it was Jensen Ackles' first time directing. And, uh, and Jensen turned out to be a wonderful director. One of the most well-prepared and skilled directors I've ever worked with in television. So that made me really happy. And I got to do so much fun stuff. And uh, um, I... I I didn't get to kiss anybody, and I didn't get to eat any apple pie, but I had a lot of fun. And it's a really funny, warm, enjoyable episode. So. Uh, do you have any supernatural fans in your family, and do you watch it with them? Uh, I, not like you guys. <laughs> You are family, yeah? Yes, indeed. Yeah! The, my daughter watches the show, but she'll only watch episodes I'm in. Which is kind of the way I do it. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if anybody else in my family watches the show regularly. Um, I'm not even sure they know I'm in it. But... Uh, uh, <clears throat> My, I, I, I mean, maybe they watch it. I just don't know. Uh, I, I, have, I haven't asked them. I, my daughter and I live in Los Angeles, and my mother and two of my sisters live in Arizona, and my other sister lives in uh, Wisconsin. And I don't see any of them very often, so I've never asked them if they watch it. Um, but they don't... They don't ever call up and tell me I was wonderful last night in the episode, so probably not. <laughs> They're not as smart as you guys. <laughs> now, what's new for Jim Beaver? What's new? What's happening? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to India last Thursday, um, uh, so I'll be doing that last week. And uh, that's the biggest new thing. Uh, I have been, uh, I just, I don't know which American television shows you get here, but. Uh, okay. Uh, but I just finished shooting an episode of uh, a show called Criminal Minds Beyond Board. I shot it with uh, a good friend of mine named Kim Rhodes. 
and um, it was really nice big roles for both of us. Um, but that will not. They shoot that show very early before it is broadcast, so I don't think you'll see that show until next spring. But um, uh, and then I have a I have a recurring part on a on a comedy called The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher. Yeah! Um, but it's, um, but that's, that's not, I don't know, do you have Netflix here? Yeah! That's a Netflix series, so you'll, you'll be able to see that pretty easily. So, uh, that's the two things I know about. I'm, I'm in discussions right now about a film that would shoot in Japan next year. And, uh, <laughs> in Japanese. Uh, so, uh. I've got to practice my uh, Skoshio Hanashimaska. Uh, uh, but that's it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hoping to do some more theater. And, uh, and I have a 15-year-old daughter that I have to figure out how to raise. If any of you have any hints, I'm wide open for hearing them. So Japan is next. What about India? You well, do something here? I don't. I don't need to come to India. I'm here. So open no. for Bollywood then? You mean? What's that? Bollywood movies? No, I, I still didn't hear you. Would you be open to doing a Bollywood film then? A Bollywood film? Of course. You guys, you, you guys sing and dance in every movie. It's so cool. I mean, it could be Schindler's List, and there'd be a song and a dance in the middle of it. <laughs> it's so cool. And now, I only discovered Bollywood fairly recently, but uh, <laughs> I um, uh, mainly all I've seen is is clips from from. Uh, what seemed like maybe really bad movies on YouTube, but uh, you guys have seen the one with with the dancing Superman, right? Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but that thing is amazing. <laughs> and in America, a lot of people have looked at that video and said, what are they smoking over there? All right, so this is it for the fan questions. They're over. Uh -huh. Maybe you have something to ask Bombay, Jim. Oh, something to ask Bombay? Yeah. Well, um, uh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> um, uh, I, well, I, I was, uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize, when I was first planning to come here, I didn't realize exactly the size of India. I looked at the map and it looked kind of small compared to the United States, and I thought, oh, while I'm in Bombay, maybe I will rent a motor scooter and uh, go see the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Then someone explained to me that it's 800 miles away, uh, so I decided not to. Um, I'm going to have to come back because my trip here this time is very short because I have to go back after the soon after the convention. I don't have much time to travel and look around, and I want to I want to come back and travel and see much more of the country because right now. Right now, all I've seen is my hotel and this building. And something tells me that neither one is typical of India. No! So, I'll, I'll just have to come back. Is that okay? Yeah! All right. Huh? Um, so, now, I, yeah, let me ask you this. Uh, are you guys caught up Are you with season 12? Are you watching? 
Uh, is that legal? No. <laughs> uh, do they broadcast? Do they broadcast it here at the same time? That's wonderful. Um, so what's happening? Mary came back, right? They brought her back. I haven't actually seen anything since, I don't think I've seen an episode since the last one I was in, uh, but uh, but that was a pretty good episode. Did, you guys like Rufus? Yeah. Bobby and Rufus make a pretty good team. Uh, we had a lot of fun shooting Safe House, and uh, what's that? Spin-off. Spin-off. That's an old Hindi word, right? It means Jim gets to work more. Um, uh, yeah, I, boy, I'd do a spin-off. But, um, and I'm sure the network is just really excited about having a new show with two old guys in it. But, um, you know, if they said that if they said they wanted it, I'm sure that Stephen and I would be there in a heartbeat. So, um. absolutely. Unfortunately, it's all the time we have right now with Jim. But Jim will be joining us again tomorrow. Uh, before we go, though, the slogan: Bring Bobby back. 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 Jim. Thank you so much, Jim. We'll be meeting Jim again tomorrow, right here on this stage. Jim, there is your security detail. Thanks so much, Jim. Thank you.